Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hedder here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Quake AI or Quake 2 for short. Uh, this was developed by ID Software, Machine Games and Night Dive Studios, published by Bethesda Softworks and is usually available for £7.99 but is included with Xbox Game Pass, so strike while the iron is hot as they say. So whether you like this sort of thing or not, this is going to be an achievement guide telling you how to get all achievements as quick as possible using the PC version cheats. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Now then, uh, this basically goes from a 5 to 6 hour completion to less than an hour. Don't hate the player, hate the game homies. Uh, this method will be using clip through walls, god mode and all weapons making this a breeze. And again, if you are unhappy with it, just think of it as a 30 minute baby game that you all enjoy. It's a win-win. But if you are playing on console for the last few levels anyway, after the main game, there are some settings you can use to make it even easier. I will explain more a little later. As for achievements, we're going to get all 13 by simply playing through the game. So no missables or anything to worry about. Again, console method, five to six hours. This PC cheeky method around 30 to 40 minutes. So with that being said, then let's do it. Now we're going to select uh, the main game here, of course, episode Quake 2. We'll start off on unit one. So effectively, we have to play through the entire game anyway, because um, you'll get an achievement for every level that we complete. Now, in order to get God Mode and the console commands up, you know, on your keyboard, you've got the escape button. Well, for me, just underneath that with like the little comma and whatever it is, that's the button I had to press. Uh, in order to get this one up. It may be different on, on uh, different keyboards, but for me, it was the button just under the escape button. Yeah. So we're going to put it on give all. That'll give all weapons. And then God. And then no clip. So that'll put God mode on, no clip on, etc. Now, if you do need to, I'll show you in just a little bit. But anyway, what we'll do first then, it's W-A-S-D, obviously W to go forward. And then obviously with the mouse, if you're playing on the mouse, you can obviously move around. So we're just going to go through this first hallway and we're going to see this elevator right here. We'll go through this. Now what you can do is go back and on the console command and then you can just press up on your keyboard and then press enter in order to turn uh, no clip on and off a lot easier. Um, so we will, so we're into this sort of second area now. And again, just make sure to put your no clip back on by using the console command. So from here, what we'll do is head up and left. So we're sort of out of the map, as it were. And as you can see, uh, what we are looking for then is a, another particular door. So the door is just over to the sort of well, right-hand side here, onto this broken bridge. Just underneath to the right, there is a little hole we'll go through. Uh, kill these guys absolutely a dead. If you want to, you don't have to, but it's always fun. And then what we'll do, go back on to no clip, no clip it off. We're going to interact with this button here, and that will open up the doorway for us. Now, this is one of those that you can't just get through to the end of the level. Sometimes you will have to um, basically get through to the next area, etc. Um, so that's why, if you're thinking, why aren't you just flying straight to the end? Because you actually have to get through to a couple of places first. So... What we need to find now is a blue key. Now, what we are going to do... Now, a lot of the times, I'll sort of point you in the direction where it, it's kind of obvious uh, or the thing that we need to get to. So, for now, as you can see, it's like a big cylinder-type thing on the left. Um, so, use that as a sort of reference. So, when you see that, then, we'll go to this right room here. Uh, again, kill old uh, chicken nugget head dead. Chicken nugget head, if you uh, so wish. We're going to turn no clip back off. There we go, and then what we'll do is we will just, uh, excuse me, I, uh, crappy Iron Man, get away. Then we will just interact with this computer, and there we go. That is where the key card is, so that is job done. Uh, again, if you want to shoot some people, you know, make yourself feel really good that they can't even hurt you, that'd be cute. If not, then we will just simply fly off to the right, go to the left, then we're going to drop down and go through to the right door here, straight through. And when we're, once we're sort of outside, uh, we can clip through this wall, go to the left, up and to the right. And now we are going to no clip it. We're going to uh, turn the clip off and we're just going to head straight through now. 
Um, I, again, I'm, I've tried to keep this as sort of slow slash fast as I can, so hopefully you can keep up. Uh, apologies if um, the video can be a little fast. Anyway, we're going to head straight through. In fact, we didn't need to go down this hallway, uh, so I do apologize. I, we, we were meant to go right instead of left. So we head back through here. Uh, kill these dudes if you want, but there's the door we're going to go through. Head to the right. Basically go straight through to the wall, and the exit is uh, to our left. So what you can do, you can actually just uh, clip straight through the elevator, turn the clip off, press the exit button, and you are through. Um, but for some reason, I decided to no, I decided to clip it off now, then open the elevator, and there is the end of the unit shift. Yeah. Anyway, you will get your first achievement for completing that, so yeah. So again, I do apologize. I, again, try going as sort of slow as I could. Um, but again, uh, just put uh, slow the video down or lambast me in the comments, uh, whichever one you prefer. So what we're going to do then from here, we're going to put clip on. We're going to go backwards. Of course, it's S to go backwards and sort of up in the air. And then what, what you can see is like these two sort of black cylinders or something just in the distance. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head to the very left one. And in fact, if we turn around right now, we don't actually need to go through here. I do apologize. If you turn around, you can see a warehouse sign. Now that is the uh, place that we actually need to go. Um, so I do apologize. So this, again, obviously you'd have to come here if you were playing the game legit in order for the sort of secondary objective. Um, but the place where we actually needed to go was basically the opposite way and was into the warehouse. Oh, Thrill House, Mill House. And in all fairness, I did pretty much didn't even need to uh, no clip right there. I You could have just walked. Um, so, yep. Straight through, head up. And then if we turn around, there we go. So that that is actually what we are looking for. So again, just apologize. I do apologize there for the um, lack of direction. I am one silly sausage. <laughs> but you forgive me, right? Because I actually put out decent guides, right? Okay. Right, so we're going to head straight up so we're out of the map again. And then what we'll do, we'll just go slightly to the left. See that big cylinder? Oh, I keep calling it a cylinder looking machine thing straight in front of us. That's what we're heading for. Uh, once we head up, we're sort of on the main part here, so we're going to unclip ourselves, unclip it, push the button. Now, what you're going to do then is go sort of, you're only going to go halfway down the stairs. If you go all the way down, um, it's basically not there. What we're doing is looking for a window, blast it open, and again, we'll turn the clip back on. And then, let's drive and thrive, go through the left-hand side door here, and then straight through to the next one. And then straight through to the next one, into this room. There's the exit, so we can just, effectively, we can just head through and then unclip yourself, and this is going to be the end of the level. Wow, you're so good at Quake 2, you guys. Well, what a lovely day now. So, we're going to do some stuff. So, we'll just fly straight up. By the way, this is the re-uploaded part because I was a dong and uh, messed it up the first time. Sorry about that. See that little cylinder thing in front of us? That's for a reference. We're going to go straight over into this little building where the 69 door is, or the E9 door, whatever you want to call it. And in the complete darkness, the lights here do absolutely nothing. There, we will unclip and we will press that one. And up we go. Okay, blue key card. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that then. So uh, what we'll do again, make sure your clip is on. There we go. It's oner than the donger. Uh, we're going to fly sort of up backwards. And then we're going to turn around from here straight down. You're going to see like a little room with a couple of steps in it. We're going to kill Vladimir Putin looking dude. 
I'll be back. No, that's the wrong accident. Never mind. And we can now just go ahead and clip ourselves. Uh, grab the blue key because we're going to need it for this one. Shoot these broskies if you so wish. And then we can clip ourselves back on. Clip on, clip off. All good. Right, we're going to stick in the hallway. So go up to the left and then up the stairs to the left again through these uh, doors or so. And then in this little area right here. No, don't go back on yourself. There we go. And we'll go through the left door, the DC door. And through the hallway. Again, it's pretty much just straight until you see what looks like a security room with red doors around. Go past again, straight up. And through this door, and then we can clip ourselves off and head on through. So, on to the next one. Here we go. So, shoot big dude in the back. <laughs> you got shot in the back. Many people like being shot in the back, but it depends <laughs> with what weapon. <laughs> anyway, go through the 69 door here on the left. Uh, go into this room. And through the lasers, of course, because that's always good. Straight through to the next DC room. And we will unclip ourselves to go through to the next area. Locate Billy Midkey, then return to the security complex. We are actually going to need to do this one. This is actually one of the longest levels um, in the game. Or what I found, anyway, for the no-clipping one, anyway. So, clip yourselves out. Head over to the sort of right-hand side. And it's this sort of area in the back is what we're looking for. Fly through... This is what this is what we're after then. If you need some kind of a reference, there's a big dude, big robot dude on the left on a circle. Uh, but we're just going to go straight through to this red door. Uh, we're going to continue through the hallway. It's only a little room. And then what we'll do again: shoot some bros, just because you know, get out of my life. Then we can find the pyramid head key. It's right here, just chilling, all by its snacksy snelf. Um, obviously you can't shoot through a bulletproof window, so don't even try. Uh, so let's clip ourselves back on once we do have the pyramid key. Hello, Terminator. Old Flanders dong as you are. Uh, fine. Uh, but we will just, I'm so sorry. We'll just back ourselves out. Uh, we'll continue on basically straight. And then we will just head slightly to the right. There we go. So we're sort of back in the prison cell looking section. Get away! Andrew, get away! And then we'll unclip ourselves, go through the door again. So we, we are basically going to be back in the first area that we were in. Sort of. There we go. So kill a couple of guys once again. I, I, I will stop with the accent now. I just realized it's goddamn ridiculous. Uh, so, um, let's clip ourselves to the top left here, and we're just going to sneak through this little hallway. There we go, until we see what looks like a 23 door, and then over to the left-hand side, there is the next door that we're going to go through, but we're going to need to unclip ourselves once we get to the inside. There we go, smash your way in, and, oh my god! Now, you could have just snicked. S snick, <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. That's what most of us look like when we are hungry, angry. A bit of hangry right there. You're not you. You like to shoot people when you're angry. Anyway, go to the left and go to the left again through this DC door and the left again through the next DC door. And this is the room where we're actually going to find the green key card, which we do need again for... Um, uh, it's the pass card, green card, you know, it's it's all a card. It's all used for elderly people on the bus, isn't it? Whatever card it is, the government will still rob you blind. So there's the security pass then, right next to the, uh, what kind of looks like the chokey from Matilda. I'll throw you in the chokey! Uh, back through the DC door and through the next DC door. Continue on to the right next to the 69 door. And again, uh, ignore Terminator and just go back through the exit. This is uh, where we first came originally. So, no clip it off again. And then, of course, we will clip it back on. Now, I'm not sure if there was a quicker way to do this level. Um, if anyone manages to find one, please let me know, because you'd be better than me. Head down, and you're going to see what you can see then is like this little uh, pyramid tea bag. This is Giant Pyramid Head uh, for any Silent Hill fans who crap themselves the first time you've seen that. Um, ignore that dude and we can just head down. I'm pretty sure there is... 
there probably was a way I could have finished this quicker. You probably didn't need to get the security pass, but, uh, you know, such is life. Uh, turn around, go straight through the door, and again, we're going to unclip ourselves in order to use the Skelevator. See, that's like a scarier sounding word for elevator. Yeah, no, no. Uh, once we have clipped ourselves back on, we will back out. Uh, we'll head slightly sort of to the left. Um, there's not a lot in this area, but we'll go up and down. That is what we're looking for then, the security grid. All you need to do is give that a little oosh with your nugget. Go and smack him out. Or, you know, give him a shoot, whatever. You don't actually need... Yeah, just, just shoot it. Just shoot it, damn it! And eventually, it will be destroyed. There we go. So once that is destroyed, that is actually the main piece. So we can just go straight through. Continue on down the hallway. There's the exit. And that is the... What I believe to be the longest level done. Again, I probably could have got that one done quicker. But, uh, you know, hey, still a short enough game. Look at this. Flying through like a big pizza pie in your eye. Don't come in your eye. Don't, uh, hmm. Anyway, navigate mines, find the entrance to the factory. Right, will do. So, let's do it once more. No clip on, back yourself out. And then we will go slightly to the right. And then you can see this big cylinder with a bunch of stairs looking things. Everything's just cylinder shaped in the old days, isn't it? That's how, that's how it used to be. It used to be good. People never used to complain. They used to just go, oh, wow, that's cute. And everyone's like, 30 FPS in a game these days? I'm disgusted. Anyway, head next through the DC door. And we will be in this old rocky area. 30 FPS. It's supposed to be at 1 billion FPS. <laughs> and then from here, we can effectively just go straight forward. Still um, on the sort of lower part of the map. It will have some bars through it, but of course we're just smashing straight through, so... <laughs> Go through into the next area. Um, somebody just decombusted right in front of me, which is always nice. Um, again, pop your no clip on, head to the left, and then straight down is where you can see the exit. So you'll have to be kind of, kind of quick here. Turn the no clip off and then go forward, of course with a W, as you already should be well aware, into the next area. Clip yourself on again, as usual, of course. And then from here, back yourself out so you're out of the map. Continue on forward and sort of slightly left. All the way to the back. That's what we're looking for, the back sack and crack. Exit this one and you are back in, sacking and cracking. You may have to kill a couple of guys here. Excuse me, if you could stop shooting my ass, that would be fantastic. And that is the next area done. The next level complete us. So, getting through it quite quickly now, huh? Now, these next le couple of levels are quite nice because um, effectively we kind of pretty much just get straight through to the end. Which is always <laughs> nice if you're stressed and you're bald and you've got a couple of kids and you've got no time. I'm just describing my life right now. Uh, so, back out of the map, go straight forward. And you can see this little staircase right here. And then straight through, this is uh, it's the exit. So, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. By the way, also, what I should say is, if you press um, the Q button, that'll bring up your, like, compass, if you are playing again on the PC. Uh, that'll bring up your map. You can use your compass. So if you do end up getting stuck, even and this works brilliantly on consoles as well, if you do get stuck... You can just use your compass and it will tell you where to go. I do apologize, it's taken me 18 minutes to tell you, though. I suck. Again, I'm so sorry. Right, so, um, now that wasn't an edit. You can just go straight through and straight forward until you see this area with, like, the little circle or what looks like a pie. Uh, so, effectively, you're going out of the map and straight forward until you see this door. Creepy. I want to pay. I'd also like a KFC. So back out once again, and then what we're going to do, we're going to head slightly to the right to this area. Straight down to the, uh, what kind of looks like a big lasery beamy thing. Turn around and you're going to go through this door. Unclip yourself and ta-da! This is going to be the exit. And once again, oh my god, you guys can make this into an easy speedrun record. <laughs> Probably not. But still, we're getting through it. 
achievements popping like days. No tomorrow, bad thing. Right, this one's an easy one. Destroy big gun. And there's only one way to do that. Go through, head left into this door. Go down and to the left again. Um, unclip yourself and then push the big button in front of you. And that is what will destroy big gun. Now, of course, on consoles and the doing it the legitimate way, you're going to have to do a lot more than just go uh, clip yourself through. But bras, we ain't got no time. We ain't got no time. It's it's got to be thirty minutes or thirty minutes or less. And I know I, I do apologise. You do have to put a bit of work into this game, which I know for a lot of people you're just like you son of a. B but it's what we have to do. So now we need to close the main hangar boat bay door and do some other stuff. So clip yourself on, go through the door, and through to the next door. Head left and left again through to this door. And again, we're just going through the uh, hallway, go through the door, and we will unclip ourselves to go through to the next area. Wow, look at that, 20 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. Right, uh, <laughs> well, cube. So again then, uh, clip yourself on, and we're going to go backwards out. Turn to the right, and you can see two, two cylinders in the sky. Like a big pizza pizza Uh This, the way, way we're going though is basically directly in the middle of them to go through this hallway into the red part in order to go through to the elevator. So give that a little boosh boosh. Heading up and it loads. Right, uh, now what you normally have to do, of course, is disable the force field and do all that stuff. But we're going to clip ourselves out. We're going to head to the right over the big thing, blue thing here in the middle, down into this sort of watery area, and that's as well as the accent as. So continue through a couple of doors, clip yourself off, go through to the next area, and now we've got to retrieve the airstrike marker. Sorry, I thought that was the actual end of the level, as it turns out it wasn't. So back yourself out again. Uh, what we'll do now is just go pretty much straight forward through this big wall, through the next big wall, you can see this little cave that we're going to sneak ourselves into in just a minute. There we go. So it's all the way straight forward. Meow. Meow. Meh, <laughs> you did. Um, head through down this little hallway and there's the exit. So unclip yourself. Exit. Push it. And it'll go boom, boom. You might have to walk forward a little bit. There we go. And there, yeah. So, I mean, between the kills and secrets... It's pretty terrible. Um, you're pretty awful at finding everything, but that doesn't stop us from getting achievements. And that's all what we were born to do. Right, so we're on to level nine now out of 10. So uh, unclip yourself, go to the right. And sort of start heading a little bit down. We're going to the right. Right here is where you need to go. So it can be a little bit tricky to see and a bit tricky to find, but you'll clip yourself off and just go through this door. Um, so clip yourself um, on again, and we're basically heading straight in front of us. What kind of looks like a big Jeebus bit. Jeebus! So again, straight through the door, unclip yourself, and go through. Jeebus! And uh, now is this the last area? I don't know, we'll take a look anyway. So unclip yourself again, and now you're going to go for the big beaming light in the sky, like a big pizza pie. Uh, but past that... Into this area with the lava, straight through, and hello, ding, 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 there's the exit. Give it a little bash with your nugget, look at that, not even a kill. We suck at this game, Grandma! Don't talk about Grandma and sucking, that's uh, some horny old people out there. Right, so this is the final level of the main game, and then we just got to do a couple of things on some other stuff, so... Back out, go directly in front of us to the beaming Jeebus light. Now, you're going to have to unclip yourself here before you get to the boss, because what he's going to do is go pedair. Then you just need to stand on the two of these um, switches. And then the right, either side... I Excuse me, sir. I don't want to talk about Jeebus Crest. Um, so, again, if these things are annoying you, just kill them. If not, once the lasers are down by uh, pressing the two switches, go to either side, 
click both of those and then what you need to do is actually jump on to the um, platform or whatever it was where the boss was. Now this is actually an easy one. Now you may think that you'd have to just go and try and shoot the boss and kill him dead. No, what you actually need to do is if you clip yourself, go up into the area so the boss appears and then what you'll need to do is head back down to where we were. So again, this is the sort of beginning area and there are three escape pods either side. Now in the middle one, there is the, um, well, that's that's all it is. You just need to push the button in the middle one and we escape. Now, of course, you probably have to legitimately hit the boss and do some other stuff and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm about, as I'm about as legit as a Thai lady man. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but you know what I mean. So, <laughs> so I'm not saying I'm a Thai lady man, by the way. Though I do have a, uh, I do have a good wang like a Thai wit lady man. Right, anyway, once we've done the main game then, we're going to go Call of the Machine. Um, so go to level select, episode Call of the Machine, and we can just go straight to Temple of the Creator. Again, because we've started effectively a new game, you'll have to pop in Give All and God Mode and uh, etc. once again. So for this level, all we're going to be doing then is beating, destroying, and killing four bosses. I say four bosses, there's like three bosses and like a sort of one mini boss as it were. Uh, they should, they, they're should. always going to be in the same area, so um, we're going to back out and go to the sort of place which kind of looks like it's on its own. The boss is behind here, uh, but what we need to do to actually get things going, you're going to need to unclip yourself. There we go. Apparently I can't spell. Now there is a flying little broski around here. There he is. So just give him a, a shot. After a couple of shots, the next boss will appear. The Zvaitos Creation. And he's going to come out of somewhere. Oh, there he goes. Apparently you can clip it on. It's fine. So just kill these two dead for the moment. Um, actually, for some reason, the robot is easier to kill than the flying bruh. And once the incredibly overdramatic explosions finish, uh, what we'll need to do to actually get the next boss to appear, we are going to have to no-clip off. We'll drop down below us. As you can see, the green um, piss water, the rat piss water is gone. And walk around for five seconds, and the two big chunky polar bears will appear. Ah, The polar bears with massive teeth and no eyes. So just kill these two dead, and this will end this level. Also, if you were wondering why there's no sound on the video, it's because I got uh, I got paranoid. I forgot to actually turn off the music, even though the music in this game is incredible. Um, you know what it's like. Uh, so we're going to go to the Reckoning, go to Unit 6, the moon, on easy, and we'll just smash this one. Um, so yeah, no music because they'd end up taking all the money off me, and I need all the pennies I can get. I need them all! Anyway... Again, pop, pop God mode on and give all. Once we go in, again, it's the Reckoning. We'll go to episode six or unit six, the last level. And this one is a very, very good and easy one. What we're going to do is back out, go to the right-hand side right here, unclip yourself, and then walk into the middle. And that is effectively the end of the level. 
So yes, you would have had to have killed the boss, but hey, we've done it. We've done it in literal seconds. So that's the next one done. Now you should only have two achievements left. So if you want to double check that, uh, you can on the main menu there. Um, otherwise, what we'll do is go to single player again. Single player again. Single player again. No, that was multiplayer. Uh, level select. And this time we're going to go to ground zero. And again, go down to the boss level. So ground zero. Basically, we're going to have to kill a spider and then a spidery spider. Uh, now, if you are playing on console, you can actually go on to multiplayer, put these levels on, um, but you can actually set your lives to nine and your uh, ammo to infinite. So if you are playing on console and doing it the legit way, but you need a bit of help, that definitely helps there on console. So just coming down to the new area then, all we're going to do is kill this chick. Um, she is thick, by the way, with a double C. Fair play for someone who is uh, looking like a robot and who looks like a robotic devilish, even more so Harley Quinn. Man, she found time to do some squats. Anyway, she is going to burst out of this door in front of us right here as a big spider, so just continue on bashing and killing her dead. And I know some thirsty dudes out there would call this spider woman Mammy. Oh, Mammy, Mammy. I'm sorry, Mammy Mammy. You can smother me in hell. Right, so we're going to continue up. And in this next room, we'll head to the left, though. Uh, so as you can see in this next room, we basically need to go into the room. Uh, um, yeah, there it is. So where the blue sort of prison cell looking thing was, there's a little dark alleyway. Right, um, this can be a little bit tricky to find, but there's basically two switches on the same level that we came out on. So hit that one first. Pop your no clip back on, and then we're going to simply uh, go to the other opposite side. So it's not too far. There it is. So hit that switch as well. Boosh. And then if we look directly below us somewhere, again, it's quite dark in here, so it can be hard to find. But basically, you're going to find like what kind of looks like a red cube or a red square. Um, it is around here somewhere. Again, put your compass on if you do have trouble. There it is. It's very hard to see, but all you got to do is look directly in front of it, and then we just need to escape. So the escape pod actually crapped me up, to be honest. I, <laughs> I could not find it. So use your compass. That's just a lot easier. Um, and then just continue on. Go through to the escape pod, and then we've got one more left to do. So many, money. Let's do it, man. Let's do this. Single player. Level select. Episode, we're going to go down to Quake II, II, then, 64, so Quake 2, 64, and then we're going to, of course, go to Unit 6, Command Core for the map, and then we are going to play. Now, there's actually two sort of levels that we have to play. You can't actually just go straight through to the core. We have to play this bit first. So, obviously, as always, God Mode, give all, and pop your no clip back on. This is only going to take around a minute or so. Uh, so we go straight through, and then we're going to start heading up. Now, this I would recommend popping your compass on, because we need to find a door where the boss is. Uh, so if we pop our compass on, it's actually directly in front of us where these... Uh, he Hello, ladies! Uh, there it is, just up from above. There we go. So once we go straight through, now we're going to pop our no clip off. Uh, go directly in front of us there, and he's going to be like, I disappear now. Now you jump on it, and then, oh man, you're a hell of a bald guy. See, I told you, bald men do some fantastic things. Now we will actually get on to uh, the 31st, or uh, Mission 31, whatever it is. Now we just need to destroy the Guardians of the Galaxy. We're destroying Chris Pratt once and for all. Although I do like Chris Pratt. Uh, so, all we're going to be doing then is we just need to find the boss, and he's just in this area all alone, right here. And it is just a simple case of killing the boss and his cronies.
And this will be it. So what we've got to do then is go through the final door and that will unlock. The final door is on where we are right now, is to the right hand side of us. Um, but yeah, that will be it, <laughs> guys and gals. So again, if you manage to, if obviously you've done this legitimately, of course, uh, big congratulations, because this is always, uh, it's always a fun game, it's always a classic. But if you decided to do it this way, then that's fine as well, because we've all got stresses in life and we all want to boost our achievement score without playing too many baby games. Even though we've all got them on our game attack, so there's no point. So there we go, guys and gals. That'll be all 13 Quake 2 achievements done. So I just want to say a big, massive thank you um, for watching. And I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, or even if it didn't, of course, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe, share with a friend, like and comment as always. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members as well. So thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big old love nuts.